Hello and welcome to lesson 27, somewhere there. Um, today's lesson will be using the curve, um, using the NURBS curve tools. So, what are NURBS uh, curve tools? These are tools that allows us to actually create um, some sort of uh, guidelines to enable us to advance and create surfaces from there. So, if we... Um, uh, make sure you, um, you're in surfaces, okay? If you look look at um, create, there's um, four different curves that we we able to use. Four different tools. There's a CV curve two, EP curve two, Bezier curve. Um, sorry, uh, CV curve twos, EP curve twos, um, arc curve twos, and text. You know. There's all these different uh, curve tools that we can use. So, you can either find them in the um, create drop down menu or the curve uh, menu in here. You've got all the graphical representations of your of the tools that you can use. So, let's go ahead and create um, curves. So, we'll start with the, the most uh, famous um, curve tool, which is the CV curve tool. Those of you who are familiar with Final Cut and um, basic 3D programs, Final Cut, uh, what's it called? Um, wait a second. Final Cut Motion. You've, you've got a curve, CV Curve 2 that you're able to use in there. The CV Curve 2 in Final Cut works like the same, it works the same as the Maya CV Curve 2. So let's go ahead and click on the CV Curve 2 and show you um, what uh, the CV Curve 2 is. So CV Curve 2. Uh, let me just uh, go into orthographic view and front view. All right. So the CV curve tool is a tool that's used to uh, create uh, points, but you need about four points to actually create a curve. Okay. So we're going we're going to start one point. As you, if you've noticed, well, after clicking left clicking, it leaves a box. Then it leaves a U. Okay. Then continue. Leaves another dot. Okay. Now we've laid three points, but we still we're still not seeing our curve. All right, so we draw the fourth one. That's when you start seeing the curve. Okay, this is a very 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 handy tool, and if you if you've noticed, the curve is um, laying away from the dots. You know, it's laying away from the dots. So you draw your curve. You draw your curve. Once you finish uh, drawing your curve, all you have to do is press the enter, and you have your curve in here. So that's the CV curve tools. That's the CV curve tool. It's it's a very very very. I won't stress. I can't stress this enough. It's a very important tool. Learn to use it. So if you go back into our um, menu and click on the EP curve 2. The EP curve 2 is um, different, okay? So let's go one point, it draws a box with the X in the middle, two point, okay? We still can't see our curve, then three point, see our curve is um, drawing. Now, after we click the third point, that's when we actually able to see the curve. And if you notice, the curve, the curve is actually drawing in the middle of the X, more like the X marks the spot kind of thingy. So, let's go ahead and continue drawing. So this, um, the EP curve too is more, more of w what you see is what you get kind of thing. Except for, it's a curve, so you will leave it to like curve in to meet the point that you're actually drawing. Yeah, so that's the CV curve too. All you have to do when you finish, press enter, then you have your curve in here. So let's uh, control Z to delete that one. Let's go into our fourth curve tool for now. Okay, there's the fourth one is a three, the third one is a three point circular arc and the two point circular arc. So we'll start with the two point. With a two-point circular arc, arc is some sort of a half up to you can draw an arc up to half a circle. Okay, so 
um, two point. So we draw one, two. We've got an arc, okay? We've got an arc up to half a circle radius. So we've got all these different radius that you can use, okay? And you can also make it as big as you want. Remember, half a circle, make it as big as you want, kind of thing. So anyway, that's the um, that's the curve too. That we've, the, that's the three point um, uh, two point circular arc that we've got. Control Z. So um, go back to arc two and uh, click on the three point circular two and uh, close that so we can see. Three point circular two enables us to draw a three point, okay? So we go one, let's see, now nah, let's put it uh, one, two, okay? Three point, it, this, is, uh, this enables you to create an arc that's more than 180 degrees, okay? So let's click our three point, third point somewhere here. So you're able to create some sort of a arc, see that? You get the idea. So that's um that's how you use the the arc two. And our last one, uh, just press enter to draw arc okay and delete so our last um our last one is the pencil curve 2 okay the pencil curve 2 is pretty much more like um drawing with your pencil now let's draw up to here now if you look at uh this one let's go into our controversies, our vertices. If we look at, at our vertices here, there's a lot of data, like a lot, you know? So the more, the longer the line, the more data you're gonna get. So look at this data, it's, it will be almost impossible to actually work with this data. So I would advise you to consider the other um, first two tools that we used when, when drawing a curve like this, other than using your freehand pencil thingy, because it will create a lot of data and make your work messy. So yeah, that's pretty much um, that's pretty much all it is about your um your curve tools and um. Yeah, practice, learn them, and uh, we'll apply them once we start uh, modeling more advanced um, stuff. So this is just the basics. I hope you um like the tutorial. And please, don't forget to subscribe. I've got a few subscribers now. I'm pretty happy, but still, I need to, you know, I need some audience. That way, I'm motivated to make my tutorials. Anyway, guys, thank you very much, and uh, advance to the next tutorial. Thanks.